What's going on guys? It's Evan with 1IMS. Today we're going to be talking about site speed rankings and how to increase your website speed. So when it comes to website speed, this is an important factor of SEO and ranking on search engines, but not the most important. But still, we do need to talk about it because a lot of people have issues with website speed. Website speed varies depending obviously on what CMS you're using, how it's pulling from the server, and things like that. But some easier things to talk about this would be maybe optimizing images. So you could do this manually depending on how many images you have. And I would recommend using TinyPNG. It can actually drop in up to 30 images at a time. This will compress them, usually around 50 to 60%, depending on the size and how its height and width is. And then also you can re-upload those to the site and put them on the correct pages. Now let's say you have hundreds of images and they would take tens of hours to compress these and re-upload them. I mean, I know some clients even have thousands of images. I use a plugin called ShortPixel. ShortPixel is a plugin you can put onto your website via WordPress. And I know plugins are sometimes able to slow down your site, but when you have hundreds of images that maybe are megabytes, tens of megabytes, or hundreds of kilobytes, a plugin that takes a few megabytes to cut down hundreds of megabytes is totally worth it and you will see dramatically improvement with your site speed. Some other things I would talk about with site speed is parsing your CSS and your JavaScript and where it's at on the page and how things are pulling from the page. This could also be moving the code to the bottom of the page into the HTML tag and that under the head tag and then also could be la lazy loading your images so you're displaying the content on the page and then the images pop up after. An example of this would be when you slide down on a website and this would be effects with CSS and Wells, images coming in and then showing up. That's when you scroll down on the page and then it's lazy loading that when it's visible to the user rather than loading it all at once even though you're not looking at the bottom of the page. So these are some ways that you could dramatically increase your site speed. If you have any more questions on that, don't forget to comment below and definitely ask us and we will respond. Make sure you like the video and we will see you guys on the next one.